page 140. Lesson 12. Ajamil and the Tigers by Arun Kulatkar The tiger people went to their king and said, We are starving. We've had nothing to eat, not a bite, for fifteen days and sixteen nights. Ajamil has got a new sheepdog. He cramps our style and won't let us get within a mile of meat. That's shocking, said the Tiger King. Why didn't you come to see me before? Make preparations for a banquet. I'm gonna teach that sheepdog a lesson. He'll never forget. Hear, hear, said the tigers. Careful, said the queen. But he was already gone, alone. Into the darkness before the dawn. In an hour he was back, the good king. A black patch on his eye, his tail in a sling, and said, I've got it all planned, now that I know the lie of the land. All of us will have to try. We'll outnumber the son of a bitch. And this time, there will be no hitch. Because this time I shall be leading the attack. Page 141 Quick as lightning, the sheepdog was. He took them all in as prisoners of war. The fifty tigers and the tiger king. Before they could get their paws on a single sheep. They never had a chance. The dog was in fifty-one places all at once. He strung them all out in a daisy chain and flung them in front of his boss in one big heap. Nice dog you got there, Ajamil, said the tiger king, looking a little ill and spitting out a tooth. But there's been a bit of a misunderstanding. We could have wiped out your herd in one clean sweep. But we were not trying to creep up on your sheep. We feel that means are more important than ends. We were coming to see you as friends. And that's the truth. The sheepdog was the type who had never told a lie in his life. He was built along simpler lines, and he was simply disgusted. He kept on making frantic signs, but Ajamil, the good shepherd, refused to meet his eyes and pretended to believe every single word of what the Tiger King said and seemed to be taken in by all the lies. Ajamil cut them loose and asked them all to stay for dinner. It was an offer the tigers couldn't refuse. And after the lamb chops and the roast. Page 142 When Ajamil proposed, they sign a long-term friendship treaty. All the tigers roared, We couldn't agree with you more! And swore, they would be good friends all their lives as they put down the forks and the knives. Ajamil signed a pact with the tiger people and sent them back, laden with gifts of sheep, leather jackets and balls of wool. Ajamil wasn't a fool. Like all good shepherds, he knew that even tigers have got to eat sometime. A good shepherd sees to it they do. He is free to play a flute all day. As well-fed tigers and fat sheep drink from the same pond with a full stomach for a common bond. About the poet, Arun Kulatkar is a contemporary Indian poet. He was educated in Pune and earned a diploma in painting from the JG School of Arts, Mumbai. He writes both in English and Marathi and has authored two books. 
The present poem is an excerpt from Dejuri, a long poem in the 31 sections. A German translation of Dejuri by Givian Banden was published in 1984. Understanding the poem 1. The poem has a literal level and a figurative level. Why has the poet chosen tigers and sheep to convey his message? 2. What facet of political life does the behaviour of Ajamil illustrate? 3. Why have the words pretended and seemed been used in the lines pretended to believe every single word of what the Tiger King said? Page 143 And seemed to be taken in by all the lies. How does the sense of these lines connect with the line Ajamil wasn't a fool? 4. Why did Ajamil refuse to meet Sheepdog's eye? 5. He is free to play a flute all day, as well fed tigers and fat sheep drink from the same pond with a full stomach for a common bond. What do the phrase play the flute all day and a common bond refer to? 6. The poem is a satire against the present political class. How effectively does it convey the anger and anguish of the common man trapped in the system? Try this out. Find out the difference between these literary forms. A. Fable B. Allegory C. Satire Suggested Reading 1. Jijuri by Arun Kolatkar